that's a memo. Now for the top story tonight, reaction with us, a Barack and a hard place duo, Monica Crowley and Alan Combs. So, Colin, do you believe the Post article calls? I believe that he indeed is trying to flip Congress to make it Democratic, no question about that. Why would it be surprised that a Democratic president wants to have a Democratic president to work with? At but, the expense of the folks? But I don't think he's doing it because he doesn't want to help the country, or that he doesn't think what's best for the country would be to work with Congress. He has tried. He has compromised all during his first term with this Congress. They have said they did not want to work with him. They have shown they haven't wanted okay, to work with him. Let's get specific rather than this BS, please. The Washington Post and Brit Hume, not compatible ideology right. usually, both make the same point. The president's willing to have Americans suffer for the greater good of trying to have Nancy Pelosi yeah. be the new no, Speaker I didn't, of the no, House. The Washington Post didn't talk about wanting the country to suffer. What it talked about was he wants to flip Congress. But he I won't compromise. Don't, he's making it impossible. Did you read the Post yes. article? He's yeah. making it impossible to reach accord with the Republicans. But Bill, it's one thing to say he wants to flip the House. There's another thing to say he purposely wants the American people to suffer. He's making I don't it believe impossible that to get anything done. Do you agree with that? that for a second. Yes. And so you have to go back to who Barack Obama is. Remember four years ago when he was campaigning in 08, Bill, he talked about the fundamental transformation of the nation. We now have over four years of evidence as to exactly what he meant. So what he wants is the last two years of his presidency to look like his first two years, meaning a wide open political field. But he didn't do Democrats this stuff in the first two years. Though. What are you he, talking about? He got socialized medicine. He got, he got, uh, he started no, no, ramping but, but up the spending here's where you're going wrong. the here's, government. Here's where you're going wrong. You might disagree with Obamacare, all right, but he got it done. All right. He got it done. And how did he get it done? Because it doesn't he had matter how he got it majorities done. in Congress, which is what he wants for the last two years. But here he hasn't even submitted any proposals. Don't you see the difference? Right. And OK. This, this, Back then he was saying, I want socialized medicine or whatever you want to call it. Now he doesn't do anything. He just says, we want to raise taxes. Here, let's raise him again, right. even because though I just got one. There's nothing put forth. Because nothing. he's not a problem solver. He is a fundamental transformer. Uh, you you he have is to offered understand that. He's not a normal he, president. I, I disagree with what's being said here. He's offered $2.50 in tax cuts for every dollar no, no, in tax increases. That's not specific. But it's his, yes, no, he has. That's he's not, offered cuts in Medicare. He's offered cuts no, in entitlement. No, that's not specific. He's actually, he has to say, here are the programs that are going to go down. Here's how we're going to reform Medicare and Social Security. And the man refuses to do true. it. He yes, he that. is. He has said he's he was, he was right. willing to cut these programs. Hold it, because now I'm getting teed off of you. Give me <laughs> one damn program he said he cut. He has cut what? entitlements. He has cut Not the entitlements. Yeah, he, well, one program. What do you want to yell at? Because you're lying. I'm not lying. You are don't lying call me a liar. Here. Don't, don't you sit there and call no, me a liar. No, you're lying. I'm not Get, lying. Hey, you here's the proof. You don't like the here's president. The you don't like what he's doing. But don't sit there and call me a liar. I am. Give no, me one lying, program. But we can have a disagreement without no. you calling me a liar. That's not no, necessary. No, you're lying. That's here. not necessary. You are lying. I'm not lying. We There's have a disagreement. A There's a difference between having a disagreement and calling me a liar. Yeah. That's a personal This attack. is why I'm calling you a liar. Give me one program he said he cut. He would cut. Medicare and Medicaid. That's he would actually cut a specific he offered cuts program. To those. You asked me a program. Those are programs. All right. That those are programs. Okay. You know when he has said anything that even approaches what you're saying, Alan, he doesn't mean it. I'll give you a specific no, I, example. I want to say with calms. I want to. I want to say with calms. All right. All right. Because I don't usually do what I just okay. did to him. I asked him four times, Combs, to give me one specific program out of all the federal budget, $3.2 trillion worth of spending that Obama said he would cut. He would what? He has actually one. hurt himself. Give with me his, one. I said he has hurt himself with his base because he has talked about cuts right. to Medicare. Do you, know, Medicare. do you know any specific $3.2 trillion in spending? All right. I asked Combs for one. He can't provide it. Can right. you? I cannot because okay. he has not. So both of our people. Both of our people, ladies and gentlemen, cannot provide one program at a $3.2 trillion in spending that this president said he would cut. And you sit there and you say you're not. You're Come accusing on. the president of wanting the people to suffer in this country. That's absolutely untrue. You, you think may, you, you can disagree think with him that sitting he, in an Oval Office for five years, you think he wants with a, to suffer. With, a, with a $17 trillion debt and refusing to say one program that he cut. You don't think that's putting a burden on the American people? What do you people? call Medicare? I keep telling you. I keep no, you're not telling me anything. It's <laughs> jack what you're saying. There's another we'll word have, we'll for it, but it's an upsetting. We'll have to disagree. Right? No, it's not about a disagreement. You can't back up. You can't give me one example of any federal program that he said he would cut. Not what one. What did I just say? 
What? what, Medi what I just, look, no, wait, Medicare wait, wait. is not. You can't say he's, he's going to he's cut talking Medicare. About cutting Where is he going to cut it? Is he going to take money away from 62-year-olds, 58-year-olds? Is he going to take it away from the states? Where is he going to cut Medicare? Where? There would be less money going to the states. There would be less what? money going. How much less? There would be less? less money reimbursed to doctors How for Medicare. How much less? He's actually talked about cutting the reimbursement to doctors and hospitals. This is just... Bull We're cutting blank. reimbursements to no, doctors and hospitals. You're wasting That's our what time. He's talked about. This is bull. Bill, blank. I'm answering your question. That's what he talked about. He talked about cutting right. reimbursements. I'm giving you the last word. All I will say is that this president has done the exact opposite. He and Reid and Pelosi have done an, an unprecedented spending blowout over the last four years. He has amassed six trillion dollars in debt over four years, which is All a right. record. I'm, 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 I'm so angry about, it. and I apologize to you, Combs. I shouldn't have used the word lie. But you did not put forth here anything that he He's cutting would do. reimbursements to hospitals. No, you and don't doctors. know how much. You don't know where. You don't know to whom. You don't know anything. And the reason you, you don't know it. Program. And the reason you don't know it is because the guy that you revere refuses to say anything specific about anything. All he wants to do is raise taxes. That's it. That's not how you compromise. That's not how you get anything done. That's not how you bring down he, a deficit. He has actually hurt himself with his progressive base by saying he wants to cut those, those I don't payments. give a damn about his progressive base. I give a damn about the American people, and we're being conned, and you're buying the con and putting out BS. I, I disagree we're being conned. All we right. have to disagree. Well, obviously, that statement turned out not to be true. Joining us now from Washington is Congressman Frank. And uh, we appreciate you coming in, being a stand-up guy. But shouldn't everybody in the country be angry with you right now? No, you've misrepresented this consistently. I became chairman of the committee on uh, January 31st, 2007. Less than two months later, I did what the Republicans hadn't been able to do in 12 years, get through the committee a very tough regulatory bill, and it passed the House in May. I've always felt two things about Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, that they had an important role to play, but that the regulation should be improved. Now, from 1995 to 2006, when the Republicans controlled Congress and we were in the minority, we couldn't get that done. Although in 2005, Mike Oxley of Sarbanes Actually, frame a pretty uh, tough guy on regulation, did try to put a bill through to regulate Fannie Mae. I worked with him on it. As he told the Financial Times, he thought ideological rigidity in the Bush administration stopped that. But the basic point is that the first time I had any real authority over this was January of 2007, and within two months we had passed the bill okay. that, that regulated it. And, and that's finally, true. All of that and is then true. also, one other point, the Senate was dragging its feet, as often happens, and in January of 2008, I asked Secretary Paulson to put in the stimulus bill. So the earliest chance I got to put tough regulation to Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, we did it. All right, that's well, but you still went out in July and said everything was great, and off that, a lot of people bought stock and lost everything they had. Oh, no. And yes, I, oh, yes. No, oh, I said it wasn't yes. a good investment. Please Don't stop give me yelling. any of that. We just heard the words. What are you, Let's what talk. are you, that, you didn't Let's say that? Rationally. You want me to play it again for you? Yeah, you didn't listen to it. No, I, mean, I listened to every word you said, no, and I have the no, transcript you, right and here. I said it wasn't a good investment. Yeah, I and said you said going gonna... forward, we're going to be swell for a look. No, From August 07th to August 08th. Stop, don't look. Stop the BS here. Stop uh, the crap. Please. From uh, August 07 to August 08, you know, under your tutelage, your this, this industry declined 90%. 90%. Yes, but, Oh, now, none I of I this was your talk? fault. Oh, no. People do lost millions of dollars. Talk? It wasn't your fault. Come on, you coward. Say the what truth. You coward. No, You're a right, coward. You blame man, everybody talk? else. You're man, a coward. Talk, Here's the problem with going on your show. You start ranting, and the only way to respond is almost to look as boorish as you. But here's the facts. I specifically said in the quote you just played that I didn't think it was a good investment. I wasn't telling anybody to buy stock. I said it wasn't a good investment. Secondly, I wasn't presiding idly over this. I was trying to get the regulations adopted. Look, we got them adopted in May. Bottom line is, you're no, there I'm two sorry. years. Bottom line is, stock drops 90%. Yes, in because any because private industry, get... you're out. In no, any we private won't. concern, you're you're out on your oh, no. butt, but not here in the federal government. You can no, come in and make every. And then I'm call Bill, me I'm not going to be bullied by your ranting. You can rant all you want. You're not going to shut me up. The problem was that. 
We passed in 1994, in fact, the yeah, bill. Now we're back to 1994. Yes, this we is are bull. I'm this sorry, is why Americans memory. don't trust the government. No, this is why your stupidity gets in the way of rational right. discussion. The fact is, it was in 1994 that we passed the bill to tell the, the Fed to stop the subprime lending. We tried to get them to do it. The first time we were in power again in 2007, we passed the bill to regulate Fannie Mae well, and Freddie Mac. So during the two years you I tried was to there, put a happy a, face on this I'm in not July. A happy face you tried to put anything. a fan. Now you won't no. take. Look, at least, said, said, at least Cox is man enough. At least Cox is man enough to say he screwed hey, up. Bill, you're not. This manliness stuff is very unbecoming from you. I don't see any of your Cox toughness. Cox is man enough but to say he screwed up. You think you're toughness, not. You think toughness is yelling and ranting and trying to bully, and it's not going to work with me. The fact is, in the very quote you played, I said it's not a good investment. I tried to get the regulations said, adopted. Going forward, said, it's going to be swell. And people no, under that swell. bought stock in that, thought I it was a good investment. Swell. No, I said, in fact, in that quote that you played and didn't listen to because you're busy ranting, that it's not a good investment. I said that at the time. I did think we were going to improve things going forward. Yes, we had some All things. Right, you that want here. Let me read you your it. quote here, okay? Okay? I do think the prospects going forward are very solid. You left out the part gonna... about not being now, a good investment. People bought stock you are when you say that. that. Bill, you're lying by your no, by your This words. is what, what about you the said. Part, not lying. I played it I, and I read it. What about the part where I said it wasn't a good investment? You, you said it's not the that. investment right now, but going yeah. forward, this is going to be solid. Right. And People you don't lost buy it right millions. now. I didn't say solid. I didn't say swell. You distort consistently, and you think ranting and raving. You don't want right. to talk about 1994. Like no history is relevant. The fact is that you had a problem with an administration conservative. So to oh, the point I know. Where it's all the regulate. conservatives. It's all the Republicans and. Oh, not you. None no, on you. That's a joke. You won't have a rational That's discussion. That's a joke. The joke is thinking I could have a rational discussion no, with you. The joke is ranting. both parties are at fault, as I stated. But one guy, Cox, says, yeah, I screwed up. And it one guy, totally Frank, says issue. it's everybody else's fault. No, I didn't say it was everybody else's it's fault. It's your you fault. You are the most. You don't listen at all. Or maybe you're listening. You're too dumb to understand. I am the too fact dumb, is that in, yes, No, you hit it. No, I'm too dumb. You're the brilliant guy. You're the brilliant guy. You're no, the brilliant, brilliant guy who presided over the biggest financial collapse in federal oh, history. Oh, no, no, so no. You're the, under the I'm the dumb guy. You're the brilliant guy. And the Congressman, fact is thanks that very much. we got to run. At 8 p.m. Eastern. Thank goodness. Okay. Um, sanctuary cities. What do you think? I think you have the story almost exactly wrong, my friend. I, I think that we're talking about drunk driving. And, uh, you know, there were 347 drunk driving fatalities in the Commonwealth of Virginia in the year 2005. I think this may be the first drunk driving story we've done from Virginia. And the only reason it's, it's news on the factor is because the driver was an illegal alien. What right. if his name was Bubba? What if his name was Buddy? Not the what same if his name story. was Bobby? Not the it's same not the story. same story, but still, you know, my heart goes out to those, those parents. I hope so. But it, Really, it does. But there are 17,000 families that suffered the way those parents have. Yes. It's not an illegal alien story, Bill. It's a drunk driving story. And I think you no, owe that here, poor why you're lady wrong, because, mayor an apology. No, no, she doesn't enforce immigration she, policy. She has set up a system I, in her city, no, she knowingly, Bill, that says the police don't, don't chief. Feed the, don't, don't feed that. What's his name? Well, look, Lou Dobbs' mom. You, listen, you Lou listen Dobbs to has me, regenerated to his, his you, dead career all right. on the backs of illegal aliens. Look, Let's not go there. You listen to me. I'll the Minutemen are, are wearing Wearing guns now on the border. You listen to me, I'll listen uh, to what, you. Are they going to start shooting illegal aliens? When you uh, enter this country illegally, number one, you have no right to be here. No right. That's the truth. And number two, That's true. when you're caught committing a crime, as this man was four He was drunk time. in public twice. Hold, hold four and one times. time he was a drunk driver he with no victims. Been, he should have been deported the first time. And he was not. And the reason he wasn't deported. Because he didn't commit a felony. It doesn't make any difference. And he didn't he commit a, mis a misdemeanor. A he didn't commit a misdemeanor uh, having to do with moral turpitude right. either. So let me get this straight. They, everyone just, followed the law. You all, everyone had an apology from the governor no, to didn't. the mayor down. No, they didn't. Now, I just want to get this straight. You, Geraldo Rivera, with teenage daughters, right. are telling me that you are okay with a, somebody sneaking into the country, becoming drunk, 
get convicted of a DUI and staying here. My, You're all right My with that. nightmare is my daughters having anything to do okay with a drunk. Let me finish my answer. My nightmare is my daughters having anything to do with a person driving drunk. That's my nightmare. Okay. It could be a Jewish drunk. This it could be a Polish to drunk. Be here. It could be an Irish drunk. No. It could be an Italian drunk. American what the crime, hell difference does it, it make? It makes plenty of difference. It does not. He Bill doesn't please. have a right to he be here. He didn't commit a felony. He, he doesn't, doesn't have, have a right to be in this country. What? But that has nothing to do with the yes, fact that he does. was a drunk. Drunk. He should have been he deported. Was drunk. What if, he, he should have been deported, he, and this mayor and a police chief didn't deport him. Listen, do you know how many people we have in jail? How many of them are illegal aliens? Illegal aliens commit crimes at a lower rate than citizens do. This guy they shouldn't do. have been here. Cool your jets. It has nothing to do with illegal aliens. It has to do with drunk driving. It does Don't obscure he a tragedy to make a cheap political if point. I'm the father. It is a cheap political no, point. No, it isn't. And you know This it. is justice. This has nothing to do with that poor old anarchy. mayor. You it has want, nothing to do no. with that mayor. You want anarchy. No, what you I want, want open border anarchy. What That's I what, what I want. want is fairness. We have lured fairness these people. Bull. We have lured these this people. Is the we law. have lured these people oh, to this yeah. country with a promise Nobody of jobs. Is, this, in a country where there is basically full domestic employment. Right. We have for decades lured them here. This and now family, we're starting a mob scene. This you're gonna family have, you're gonna you're, you no want one. your viewers to go knocking on people's door, door no, to door. Bull, Are you an bull. illegal? I'm gonna take you outside and do I something. I want the to law enforced. History has seen what happens when you say that. I want the law like enforced. And you, you don't they, uh, Bill you half don't. of Congress, if they had the courage, the President of the United States, if you look at what he has to say, all want reasoned immigration reform. Then but to do take that. this tragedy in Virginia Beach and make it about illegal aliens it is, is a sin. That's a sin. Bull, this family lured no one. This family lost their daughter and so 347 the drunk There's driving fatalities in the Commonwealth of Virginia. We deal with do Americans. we care about them? We deal with Americans that way, and I deal with it all the time, and you know I do, with child predators and everything else. But I back you with that, because it's a reasoned approach. This it is singles reason. out the perpetrators you who don't have these no, people wait, stay wait, here. I think, let's calm down. I'll give you the last okay. word. I, you don't a let child, these people A child stay predator here. is someone with a predilection to commit a, a, an offense against the juvenile. So you go, that, because of that cause and effect, you go after the person who's perpetrating the offense. There's no cause and effect between his illegality and his drunkenness. Sure there is. He's irresponsible. The Latinos aren't more drunk than other a people. Latino bull. It's about Ramos. It's not Latino. Right, I agree. And that's he why should be if out. Ramos was Raminsky, would we care? We would certainly care. If when he was he broke in the law, he go he gets the 17,000 fatalities drunk first drive. time. All right. Okay, let me break this to you. Seventy percent of Americans don't want that moss down there. Where's so don't give me the weed. Where's business. that poll? I want to see that. You want to bet on that? You want to bet? I'll show you that poll in a minute. All I'm saying right? is that Americans, yeah. Americans don't want it. Seventy percent don't want it. But why is that? But why aren't why? we saying? Why is it inappropriate? Why is it inappropriate when seventy families died? What are you killed this about? on 9/11? No. 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 Oh That's my God. Wild. That is. Muslims oh didn't kill us on 9-11? Is that what you're saying? Excuse me, extremists. And what religion that. were they in? What Doesn't religion was what Mr. McVeigh? Mr. Mr. McVeigh was, was an extremist as well, and he killed people. I'm telling you, 70% of the country. You know what? I don't want to sit here. I don't want to sit here. You can, that's you can a make legal, any theoretical that's a, that's a legal argument right you want. That many people think should not be. Jones. You need to change the laws. You don't need to crusade like a vigilante against somebody oh, performing a legal medical anything. procedure. Everything and that's I reported what you did. is absolutely true. Tiller was running an abortion mill. Him. 42 was, times. Hey, 24 times you Over a him period a of five years, he was running Four. an abortion mill. Everybody in Kansas knows a legal it. Facility. And you don't care. You don't care. He was running care. a legal facility. You know who has blood on their hands? You. You don't care That's about these babies. That's ridiculous, Bill. It isn't ridiculous. You're the zealot. You know, you're, you're really, the you're zealot. a piece of work, no, my friend. No, you're the one who has blood on I don't on have blood on my hands. You're you the do. zealot. Who I won't even consider for anything. I you for won't even consider reduction. that this man. I'm a pro-choice Catholic who believes you're, in abortion reduction and working with young girls you and giving them rights, this giving guy them information. Out to be Dr. Don't Welby. demonize me, my friend. Uh, look, Don't you demonize me, my friend. You couldn't care less about anything sorry. that he did. 
anything that he did really? was okay with you. Anything that Tiller did legal, was Bill. okay with you because of your it far was legal, left Bill. lunacy. Anything. Anything he did Bill, was okay I, with you. Am I going to get to talk here or will I always have to talk over you? No. I ask you the question, you don't answer it, you want to talk about gun You're control. You're asking me one question over and over and over again. You don't believe in any protections at all, what he and you think did, Tiller is what Dr. Welby. What he Welby. did was legal. And I didn't say he's Dr. Welby, but yes, I know women who consider him a hero, Bill. Yeah, that and is you the do divide too. in our society. You do, too. You think he's a hero. I, you know what? I do. I know. There I you go. I do consider him a Thank hero. Thank you. And look, Thank Bill, you. you crusaded against him. You, you crusaded bet. against him. He had been shot twice and I'm already. sorry about his that. His clinic had been exploded. I'm his, sorry his about that. Been but my constitutional bombed, right says, vandalized. I can say what I say, you say what you say, as vile as you say it, you can say it. And I would never condemn you for saying it. You are misguided, you have blood on your hands, because you portray this man as a hero when he killed Late term babies. And you for routinely attack. Reasons. You routinely attack people on the left. Jane Ann Garofalo, Michael Moore, who you think their rhetoric leads to potentially to violence. It never has led to one act of violence. But you've already driven that crazy guy uh, in in Knoxville last year who read your writings and then went and shot up a church and shot liberals. That's already happened once, and you don't feel any responsibility at all now that it's happened a second time, Bill. Talk Ms. about Walsh, blood I, in your hands. I appreciate you coming on a program. I think everybody knows exactly where I, you're coming from. So Mary Catherine can go mano a mano with me. You, you ran into the adult precincts uh, very quickly. These are the stats well, that, from that the White House. that matters when you're talking about legalization. It, but doesn't, it doesn't matter to me. I'll tell you why in a moment. You have a child now, all right? Yes, who, and by the way, did not sign up to be brought up on national TV in a drug I'm discussion, sorry, but I'm let's sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry, but if you're going to advocate the legalization of marijuana, then you're going to have to answer questions about children. By the time your daughter gets to the teenage years, mm -hmm. pot will be like chewing gum, smoking a cigarette. I do not want my daughter, since we're talking about her, to maybe drink a bunch of alcohol or have a tattoo when she's a teenager. Those things are legal. They might be inadvisable for my child, but I do not necessarily think that they have to be illegal, especially if it takes billions of dollars to keep them illegal. Uh, further, when it comes to alcohol and THC, I disagree with you fundamentally on the idea that I think people can enjoy Marijuana and alcohol in moderation. Right. Are we talking as children wait, now? Wait, are we no, talking? As, okay. No. Well, then why as, are you wait, hold on, out of the make, children realm? Because we're talking I about clear, legalization for adults. Okay. We're not I talking about legalization said, for children. See, this is what you did last week, and, I'm, and this is and what you're I doing again. When I answered your question last week, no, that's exactly what I did last week. You're petty, fogging the issue by taking out of the children realm into the adult room. I clearly said, if adults want to use it, I have no problem with it, and they shouldn't be bothered. I clearly said that. You dodge the children issue because you can't justify it. What I happens is, yes, alcohol it for you. is a plague. More than 10% of American so, adults would you, would you, would you and like children to are drinking that? all over the place. Well, so would you, you like to, no, you you like to prohibit it? Do you want to be a lady of temperance? Would you like to be a woman of temperance? No. You Is want to add crusade? to an already bad problem by making you another intoxicant a socially acceptable. You That's want to perpetuate you want. a system that is already not working. Is it working properly right now, Bill? By the way, they're not legalizing it for children. It's just as illegal now as it was before. And Colorado has not fallen apart in 10 years of medical marijuana use. So we'll see what happens. All I look right. forward to the studies, which you do not have yet. That's tomorrow, and that is it for us today. Okay, I don't know. Whatever it is, it's not right on a teleprompter. I don't know what that is. I've never seen that. No, there it is. We are going to do Sting, yeah. Okay, but...